Hi, it's Tom from themsguide.com. Thanks for joining me. And if you want the regular updates, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that little bell thing, but it'll just tell you when I've posted something. Regular videos go out once a week on Friday at noon. That's British time, GMT. And uh, anything else, perhaps like this, is going to get dropped in as and when. As many of you may know, and many of you may not, I'm moving to Limtrada. I'm an Okaloosa man now. In my 28 years of MS, I've had beta interferon, Paxone, dimethyl fumarate, which is Gortec Vidira, and I'm on Ocaluzumab, which is Ocrevus, at present, while well, I had my last one in January of this year, but I declined my July one because I want to move. And I'm moving to Lemtrada. And the reason I'm moving to Lemtrada, Alamtuzumab, is that it will not blunt my vaccine response in the way that Ocaluzumab does. I have nothing against Ocaluzumab. It's really unfortunate that COVID came. It screwed up a lot of things. And um, the ability to mount an effective antibody response to a vaccine, I've covered before. People like Professor Giovanni have covered endlessly uh, as a mouse doctor, who's uh, Professor David Baker, a neuroscientist at Barts, amongst hundreds of other people. The fact is that there is no effective way to time an oculizumab, oculus dose, to get the best vaccine response. And when I say best, I mean the sort that other call it ordinary people enjoy. And so for that reason, having to choose between either treating my mess effectively with a powerful DMT, which is what I want, or having the ability to take jabs. And I gotta say, I do wonder about the other jabs that I've been religiously taking, but nonetheless, the COVID jabs, I just want to be able to function as normally as possible. We've had this two year hiatus. It's going to go on for another year or two, I think. But I want to be able to just as much as possible live my life uh, in the way that I used to. I don't mind the precautions. I think masks are sensible, vaccines are sensible, all that kind of stuff. It's not that I'm objecting to the things that help us to live our lives going forward. You know, the world's an ever changing place. And this virus has come out of. Uh, Nowhere, I'm not sure that's the right word, but the virus has appeared and it has changed fundamentally the way we live. I'm a bit surprised Alan Tuzma freaks people out so much. Uh, any drug can be bad. Any item can be bad. You can kill yourself with water. It's called hypernatremia. Now, I'm not comparing Alan Tuzma to water, but what I'm saying is it is quite possible that harm can come to you from many many other things. That's understanding the risks of the life uh, that we live, the world that we live in, and uh, how this works. Uh, it's understanding risk. I'm not here to give you a risk lecture. I'm just saying that I imagine with many people, the risk that we are comfortable exposing ourselves to every day, we don't even think about because we're habituated to them. And then when you drop something new in, be it a drug or vaccine, which is drug effectively, or anything like that. People do seem to be able to sort of have a little wobble. And uh, part of it is because they're unfamiliar to it uh, or unfamiliar with it and what that means and how it fits in and uh, with all the other activities that, that they do, things they et cetera, things they watch, whatever. Um, so like I said, I'm not here to lecture you. It's my choice. I'm doing it. My neurologist has agreed. I made the argument that Oculizumab has failed, not because it's a bad drug, but the last time the guidelines were written in the UK, failure was defined as various things like new lesions or whatever. But the fact that Oculizumab makes me unable to mount a significant, useful vaccine response, as far as I'm concerned, means it's failed. I understand the risks. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm 52, but I'm a reasonable weight. I'm moderately fit. Um, you know, I, I'm not, a, I smoke the old cigarette, but I'm not a regular smoker. Um, bro, I sleep well. I haven't had many, um, massive clinical incidents, etc. So in terms of being rubbed up by the antuzumab, I think that's not going to be issue, my issue. I think my issue will be other risks present in life and I need to manage them, but I'll take you along on this trip to get antuzumab with me. Uh, it'll be five days in hospital, or five days where I come and I go home. And uh, apparently it's their full days. It's not like um, Ocubus infusion days. 
which are four or five hours at maximum. This is all day. So I will have the alum tuzumab. It's five infusions over five days for the first year. Then you walk away and there are no more infusions until the same time next year. And it's three days of infusions. And that with most people is it. Some people have a third lot, but uh, given that my MS is fairly benign, unless it decides to get up and do the wild thing, uh, I think I'm going to probably just run on two infusions. It is what is referred to by uh, people as an IRT, an immunoreconstitutive therapy. It seems to have its best effect being immunoreconstitutive, i.e. helping fix things, which is not really a thing with MS, apart from this and stem cells and cladribine. But that seems to be far more effective when somebody's newly diagnosed. So I'm not newly diagnosed. But I will get a drug which I will be able to wash my hands of eventually. That's what I think. I have taken drugs ever since I started injecting Rebif. I have been taking drugs basically on a daily, not daily, but at least a weekly basis. And the Oculizumab came along. I thought it was pretty awesome because it's every six months, but it ties me. I can't go anywhere. If I had a done and dusted treatment and I want to move to Canada where I was born and when I'm 65, I want to move to Canada. Great. No more hospital monitoring, all that kind of stuff. I can just go to Canada. I want to move to Nepal. Kathmandu, here I come. Uh, there will be a period where that's not practical, but ultimately I can see that in my future as an ability. I have been to 35 countries. I have lived in several countries. I really feel the loss of the ability to move because I'm tied to a healthcare system. I, I get Alan Tuzumab on the NHS. I don't have to pay a penny. I just need to turn up and get it. But I could, with two passports, Canadian and British, in theory, turn my back on the UK in a couple of years. I don't want to, I have no plans to, but I suddenly have that flexibility. I can put that back in my pocket as an option. Um, anyhow, I think that's pretty cool. I just can't wait, frankly. If you ask me, knowing what I know now, I wish I'd been given Alamtuzumab 10 years ago, but you can't turn the clock back. You know, who knows? Anyway, I'll let you know. If I get seriously ill, I'll let you know. I somehow doubt I'll get seriously ill, but I will keep you informed. I will appraise you or apprise you honestly of what's going on. So the provisional date is the end of September, but that could slip a little bit. It depends. I think he wants a few B cells showing. Doesn't have to be a lot, but right now, Arcalusumab has carpet bombed them, and I have none even from my last infusion in January 2021. So. I'm just kind of waiting for them to poke their head up above the parapet and say, yes, we're still here. We live. So we'll see. Anyway, best of luck. Like I said, please subscribe. Um, this channel, as fun as it is, is just draining my money and I don't have a job right now. So it's uh, be really great if I didn't have to have Heath Robinson like setups and uh, I'm paying for subscriptions to Adobe now. And it's... Uh, I don't want to get down on you, but it, you know, and I really, really am not comfortable with the idea of just putting up a GoFundMe type thing, which several people have said. But uh, that awkwardness, I don't know if it's a Britishness, but kind of sticking your hand out and asking for money feels a bit odd. Having said, if anybody wants to just post me a check, knock yourself out and get in touch, but I don't really expect that to happen. So have a lovely day. Look after yourselves. Don't get COVID. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.